Finally, my collection of insect helmets is complete. Man, what is with you and your obsession with strange headgear? Excuse me? Yeah, you're a bit of a weirdo, huh? You two really bug me. Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, you may have come across one of this set along your journey by happenstance, or maybe you've just seen them on the head of someone else in multiplayer, or even somewhere on the internet, and are curious. What is up with the Scarab Helmets in Elden Ring? There are five of these bad boys in the game, each of them has a different special bonus effect, though they all come with the negative of having negative damage resistances. And today I'll be telling you what each one is, and also how to get them, with a nice note that none of them come later than in the Altus Plateau region, so this video is very much early game friendly. First up, we have the Ash of War Scarab Helmet. This one is a gray, sort of ashy color, and it reduces the FP cost of weapon skills by around 15%, and thus is very interesting and usable for anyone who uses weapon skills majorly, which is, well, most if not all of us, as they are an integral part of the gameplay of Elden Ring. That said, stick around because in the world that you're okay with damage negation being lowered a bit, every Every one of these helmets has something to offer for some sort of playstyle, which is quite neat to have as a collection of things. To find this one, head to the Stormvale Castle, specifically the bridge that leads to the Divine Tower of Limgrave, but instead of going through the Waygate, just jump off of the ledge behind it to find this helmet laying on a corpse. Secondly is the Incantation Scarab Helmet. This one has a notably golden hue, and it reduces the FP cost of incantations by around 15%. If you're noticing a bit of a pattern here, you're probably not mistaken. Uh, of course, this one has particular use for anyone who uses incantations as their main form of combat, for those who use them even over weapon attacks. To get this one for yourself, you'll need to complete a painting puzzle. First find the painting up here at the Artist Shack in Limgrave, then head southwest of the Agheel Lake to this little dip off of a hill to find the ghost of a painter sitting in a chair. Observe him for a moment and then receive the Golden Bug Helmet. The Glintstone Scarab Helmet has a bit of a teal coloring going on, on, a sort of muted representation of the glintstone effect as a scarab shell. The effect of this helmet, as you may expect, is to reduce the FP cost of sorceries by around 15%. As a result of that, anyone who uses sorceries as a main form of combat, hey, yeah, for you, this is pretty neat, don't you think? To acquire this for yourself, first you'll need to reach Rhea Lucaria Academy and defeat the first main boss of the area, then from the site of grace in that room, head outside and then jump over to the staircase, making sure to watch out for the rolling ball that comes down from above. At the top of the staircase, head through the door and then take a left. Jump through the window and tight left along a light little ledge will be a ladder. There is a very tiny shortcut that you can open that door to access in front of you, otherwise climb the ladder and kill the pumpkin head and couple of sorcerers sitting at the top. Then in the back left is a chest, open it and pick up this helmet for yourself. Fourth up is the Cerulean Tear Scarab Helmet. This one breaks the mold a little bit. It is a lovely shade of, well, Cerulean, and instead of lowering FP costs, it actually increases the amount of FP that you regain upon having a flask of Cerulean Tears by around 10%. This is a much better option for anyone who uses sort of a mixed bag of tricks. Maybe Ashes of War and Incantations, Ashes of War and Sorceries, Sorceries and Incantations, maybe you can use literally all three, just do whatever you want. If you spend lots of mana, this may be of use to you. To acquire it for yourself, head to the town of Celia in Kaled. From the Celia understair side of Grace, head to the northeast side of the town. Down. Go up the staircase and jump across to the roof. Jump from there to the next one over and then back over to the area with the railing. Perch yourself up on the railing and double jump using torrent to reach the top. And then on this corpse at the end of the roof will be this helmet if you don't already have it. Finally then is the Crimson Tear Scarab Helmet. A nice deep shade of crimson. This is of course the equivalent of the last one but for healing flask, giving you a 10% boost to healing at the cost of damage negation. Where this one becomes a little bit more interesting is the way that you can use it. Oftentimes, it is safer to finish combat before using a flask to heal, and so you could easily argue that the greatest use of this helmet is to be swapped in before healing when already out of combat, then take it off again when finished healing. Essentially, this would mean that you'd never have it on when being hit, so there's no negatives. It just provides a 10% boost to your out of combat healing with none of the negatives if you use it in that way. To acquire it for yourself, you'll have to reach the Volcano Manor area, specifically the Temple of Aglae, 
Flight of Grace. From here, go up the stone elevator just beside you, jump off of the back end of the balcony that's up there, and then go across the stones until you reach the abductor enemy. Jump in the window that is beside them, and then out of the door, immediately on your left, drop down carefully to see a corpse, which is, of course, holding the Crimson Tear Scarab Helmet. And with that, I hope that you've all gotten your intended use out of this. Either a bug helmet to actually use in combat, or just one that you want to wear for fashion because you're just into that type of thing, I guess. No judgment here, only Scarab Helmets. Oh, and I guess also, because I use it in the intro, and I know someone's going to ask in the comments, the Land Octopus Helmet is a particularly rare drop from the small Land Octopus enemies in the game. It took me a long time to get this. I wish you the best luck if you try to get it for yourself. I've been Cotton Dinosaur from Rage Gaming Videos. Like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye